An African field epidemiology network has taken another strategic step of implementing public health through training of different medical experts. This is evidenced in the new six caliber of professionals with skills to monitor, detect, and report all preventable diseases which cut across the human and animal sector. Environmental health professionals are being trained together and given the skills to effectively address the growing threat of zoonosis. Previously, different professionals responded to disease outbreaks differently. For example, physicians, environmentalists, veterinarians, anthropologists, laboratorians, and others all sought separate answers to and responded in isolation to diseases. According to the Executive Director AFNIT, Dr. David Mukungu, the new team of professionals which has been trained in veterinary environmentalist physicians who will be working closely with the Ministry of Health in promoting public health. Who have participated in the EIS model, which I call the field epidemiology training programs across Africa. But they not only are physicians, but they're made up of environmental scientists and, their, and uh, colleagues from the veterinary group, which is uh, the Ministry of Agriculture. And this team, which we present to you today, have worked together from Uganda and in Kenya. Let me point out that over 60% of infectious diseases affecting humans originate from animals. And therefore, we need public health experts that can address these threats as well. I'm therefore confident that the implementation of this fellowship is timely. I cannot overemphasize the danger that is caused by zoonoses such as anthrax, Ebola, and, and rabies. Mukungu adds that some of the infectious diseases which affect human beings originate from animals, meaning that there is a need to address the vice immediately. Most of which, a very high percentage of which, are diseases that occur between the interface of man and animals, which we call zoonotic diseases. Touted as a model to begin to bring not just physicians, but to bring all dis disciplines that are involved with healthcare, the veterinarians, the uh, epidemiologists, and those who take care of our environmental scientists. ...as having bioterrorizing potential. To address the potential for uh, the fellowship program to build capacity, under this pioneer One Health training program, we have built the human capacity to address zoonosis through the six fellows who are graduating today. The fellowship was born out of the need to develop a cadre of professionals that could work across both the animal and human sectors and promote better coordination. The six medical experts who have undergone through a one-year training to handle emergency Kwando emerging epidemic threats have been drawn from Uganda and Kenya. Ebola, anthrax, rabies, fever, among others, are some of the zoo noses which affect both human and animals. This story was compiled by Chris Semakula in Kampala.